Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Um, I don't even know around what time of day it is, but it's still fairly early, probably around 11-ish, maybe noon. So um, I'm going to be putting this video out later on today so y'all look at an actual same day video today. Maybe around between 6 and 8 o'clock I will post this. So I'm just getting my day started, really. I just got dressed. Um, the kids are all up now, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for them for breakfast. And I'm actually in the middle of cleaning up my bedroom right now, which is where I am right now. So I'm about to do all my laundry. I got all my clothes out of here. And I have some, like, books and stuff that I got to organize and pack away. And I just got to make my bed, and I'll be straight. So I'm going to be working on that today. And um, I don't know. I kind of want to get out the house, take the kids for a little walk. Um, or something. I still don't even have a day on stroller cleaned up. But maybe I'll work on that today. Maybe not. We'll see. But whatever I do today, y'all will be um, having a front row seat on whatever that's going to be. Alright, so I just put my soap in here. And throwing in my laundry. So as I'm in here cleaning up my room, right? I uh I what you call it? Let me shut my door because my kids always got something playing loud out there. But as I'm out there, as I'm in here cleaning up, I found this little note that my daughter uh gave me. I had bought her a book. I think it was a um it may have been a book to prepare for middle school, or it could have been like another one, I don't remember. But it's this is what it said, official note of thanks it's all dirty now because it's so old my daughter is nowhere near a middle schooler and i'm covering up her um her name because she don't play like that but it says dear mom i would like to thank you for being a good mom not every it means a lot to me because not every not i guess she forgot the one not every supposed to say one has a mom that cares it was nice of you to do what you did so thanks and more thanks from the bottom of my heart oh <laughs> i love when my kids give me little stuff like this i keep them legit forever um i had i got quite a few other things too that i keep in this bag because i plan on putting everything in the scrapbook my kids are gonna get um scrapbooks of like the work and stuff that um like ace and august does now at school i try to save as much of it as i can before somebody damages it up and I'll keep it and just, I intend to put it in like a little scrapbook for them. So when they older, they can look back at stuff and, you know, laugh and look back and just have memories and things, pictures of us together, stuff like that. Um, I got this really cool idea from a friend of mine that had lost his dad and he didn't have any pictures of his, um, his father. So he said that he was going to like email his son pictures of him, of them like now, and then save the password somewhere for him. So if he ever passed away, his son could go back in the email and have the memories, which is a great idea because you never know. You might leave something for your kids when you pass away, but then if they're like really young, they might never get it. Somebody might lose it. It might get damaged and fired. Like so many different things can happen. So um, maybe I don't know what's the best way to spare or save things like that for the future, but I'm definitely going to make them some scrapbooks. My daughter and my oldest son, I had baby books for them. But they ended up getting lost in, um, in, like I said, I think I had mentioned this before, but an old storage unit that I had in 2019 that I never went back and got the stuff. So that um, that's kind of irritating because I had a lot of little things from them that I wanted to keep. But I still have a few things that I can um, give to my son, not so much my daughter, unfortunately. But um, yeah, as I saw that little note or whatever, I think I'm going to actually make myself a mommy scrapbook so I can look over the things that my kids made, particularly for me. Um, as the years go by, when they old and gone and don't, uh, you know, I'm I'm free to myself and I just want to remember the days, I can have that to look back at. Because I think those things, those things are worth more than money. Like the memories, the um, just the growth and the journey of watching your kids grow and develop. It's, it's a great thing to be able to experience your child go from newborn to adulthood. And I think those are memories that every mom should hold on to. So while I am cleaning up and getting rid of some things, going through some things, 
I found this book I bought for um, my oldest son some years ago, but he never finished this book. Um, he is not somebody who will go and read a book on his own. So I have to be like behind him all the time. And I think when I bought this book, August was a newborn. So it was really hard for me to um, make sure that he read uh, this book in addition to all the stuff I was doing for my newborn baby plus my toddler. But um, this is a book that we're gonna pick back up today. I'm gonna make sure that he finishes this whole entire thing this month. And I think it's cool they used to say, make sure your child reads for 20 minutes a day but I'm gonna make sure he reads for 35 minutes a day. So um, actually I think that's something, as I'm looking over how, what, what I wanna do, what I wanna add into our routines, our systems in my household, how I run my house, um, reading is definitely um, a big part of that. And I wanna make sure that they read every single day, at least five days out the week. On weekends, we might take a break, but during the week, I want them, want them to be reading. Um, that might be my Ooh, hold on a second. So we just got some pizza ordered and I am starving. This was that $19.99 pack with the two medium yeah. pizzas, yeah. some um, garlic bites, and what's some things called? Yeah. Cinnamon bread yeah. twist, yeah. all right? Yeah. But as I was saying about the book, the reading though, I uh, definitely want to get back into doing that with them. So this is what the pizza looking like. Um, I already took two slices. It's really good. I just made it up. I'm going to tell y'all what it is in one second. And this is what the other one is looking like, which is just regular with chicken. So this is my first plate. All I got was this pizza as well as some uh, garlic parmesan bites. And I put a little parmesan on my plate as well. I mean, not parmesan, um, a little marinara sauce on my plate. And it came with this soda, and we just got a Sprite. Okay, so this pizza is actually just, of course, regular cheese. And then I got um, the garlic parmesan sauce that I always ran and rave about. But I usually only get that on, on a deep dish pizza. So it'll be like chicken deep dish with the garlic parmesan, and that's it. But this time, I got it on a regular crust. Um... And I got buffalo sauce on uh, on top of the cheese. It's like my topping. And it's a great combination. Those two sauces, garlic parmesan and the buffalo, um, really good. So I will definitely be ordering this again. And now, the moment has arrived. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes on the most amazing site you ever seen. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm in my car, child. I just worked up a sweat. I just worked up a sweat. I will give y'all the backstory later. I need some time to recover, but this car came back to me so dirty. I had to clean it out and then I came down here to vacuum it. So yeah, you can see that I'm in my car. Oh, you can see that I'm in my car and I'm getting ready to hit the road and make some money. All right, so now that I done cool off some, y'all, I finally, finally, finally got my dad going to truck back after seven whole weeks of walking, taking Ubers, Lyfts, all this crazy stuff. I finally got my truck back. 
Um, I had to figure out how I was going to get to the location to pick the vehicle up because it was two hours away and I already had to um, take a lift to go pick up like my personal property from the car because it was in two different places. So my personal property was in one place, my vehicle was in another place and my vehicle was two hours away and it was going to cost me like $200 just to get out there to pick it up. So um, I ended up working something out with my finance company and I actually got it towed directly back to my house. So that worked out perfect. I didn't even think it was going to go so quickly because we just made this arrangement yesterday. And um, they told me that the transporter was going to contact me within 72 hours. And they literally contacted me, <coughs> excuse me, the very next morning. And when he contacted me, I thought it was just going to be like um, him telling me to expect somebody, whatever, whatever. Because he's like, the driver will contact you when they're on their way. So I'm thinking it's going to be another day or two because the place where the vehicle was at, they had really limited um, pickup hours. So I'm like, all right, I wasn't even expecting it. And then I got a call like maybe like five o'clock or something. And the guy was like, oh, I'm like 34 minutes away according to my GPS. So I was so glad. But when the car came back, it was so dirty. It was just stuff everywhere. All type of stuff was going on. So I had to clean it. It wore me out. I still got to wipe down my dashboard, like cup holders and all of that stuff. But I had to vacuum it so I could come out here and work. So that's that on that. I got my car back. I'm really excited. It's, life is about to be so much more convenient. I could go out and do my kids' school shopping and stuff now without having to worry. We could go on our little summer road trip. I can work. I can catch, you know, I'll probably be out here working till really, really late, maybe like even three, four in the morning because I am so behind on my bills. I don't want to be getting evicted. I don't want to be getting stuff cut off in my house. I don't want the washing machine man to be losing his mind like i'm trying to get caught up for the past two months june and july ace come here yeah. come here okay um so yeah it's just i, I gotta catch up on a whole bunch of stuff so um, I'm gonna probably be working like out um, really late for the next couple of weeks, honestly, because like I said, I'm not trying to lose my place. Like, yeah, that's that on that. I just got a lot of catching up to do. So now that I got my car back, I could do so. Um, I need money today for some things. So I'm doing DoorDash for right now, but I do have two to four other apps that I got in on while I was at home just like not having any work to do out here so um i'm going to be putting those to the test come tomorrow or within the week and just really getting my money up getting myself um going as well as of course i have my channel now so things are looking things are looking fairly decent i'm really happy with this and eventually i'm gonna only be doing you know just things that i want to do because I, I really don't want to be in the delivery space anymore but for the time being I'm perfectly okay with doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm grateful. Thank God. I knew he was going to come through for me. No matter what anybody else thought, but no, what, no matter what the naysayers were saying, no matter what all the jokes and the laughing and the playing around and all the goofing around that everybody was doing, it, it never mattered to me. It never mattered to me because I'm not phased by very much of anything. You know what I'm saying? So I knew it was going to work out. I knew it was going to work out. That car sat there for almost two months. Like it was just waiting on me. They could have been sold this car. They could have, any, you know what I mean? It sat there and I'm good now. So I just want to stay on a good track, make sure I'm up out here doing what I got to do to get my money, catch up on my bills and live good. Hi, I'm um, DoorDash. For DoorDash? Yeah. Okay, ma'am, the line is shell off for you to come on in. Thank you. Say it again. Hello? You said a DoorDash? Yes, what did you say? Uh, for what name? Hi, picking up for Alice. I want the address. All right, just to make sure. That's correct. Do you want text alert? Uh, yes. All right.
-mm. No, thank you. I don't know about y'all, but I love to try different drinks, shakes, things like that. I would like Sonic be having the, some of the best drinks. Like that little slushy with the nerds in there. Y'all can see it right there. And in that picture. Um, the purple one. I had the blue one a couple times. They are so good. Like, I should get me one. So I'm picking up an order from somebody for somebody tonight. Daughter is still paying pennies. After seven weeks, things are still the same. <laughs> But um, the only reason why I did them tonight was because I know I, I could get instant pay or same day pay from them and I needed money today. But the other places that I got them with, they only pay once a week. I think eventually you can get instant pay with them, but you got to like work your way up to that. So, um, yeah, it was DoorDash today because I needed some coin today, like today. So they were slow. I did about four orders. I think this might be my fifth one. And um, like I said, we're going to be out here pretty late. I know in the beginning I said this was going to be a same day vlog, but I had no idea that car was going, my truck was going to come today. So when I got it and I cleaned it out and everything, I just went and took off to work because I know I needed to get myself caught up. So, um, yeah, I will probably, I will be out here as long as I could be out here. If I could be out here till 3 a.m., I'm going to be out here till 3 a.m. because I need to get myself caught up, you know. So I'm just in this gas line. I'm in this drive-thru line right now. Um, two cars are ahead of me. I wish they would come on because I need to make a personal. I need to make a personal run to Walmart before they close, and it's already like 10:25. So I hope they could speed this up. Otherwise, this order gonna get left because I definitely gotta go to Walmart and make sure I'm straight. Mommy's recording. All right, so it is officially after midnight. To DB, and um, I am still on the road, still on the move. Thank you. Doing my orders, and I uh, am not getting off till 3:30 a.m. Like it's just that real right now. So I just thought I would check back in. I'm about to go do this delivery, but just check back in with the vlog. I'm let y'all know what I'm doing and uh, see y'all in a few. Alright, so I'm out here. Um, I'm not getting any orders right now. Last I checked, let me get my watch out my purse. I forgot it was even in here. So it is 1236. And um I'm not getting any orders right now. No, we're just sitting at Wendy's waiting for an order. No, don't get an order. I do hungry. Check them out. My favorite everyday clothes. So, uh, I'm sitting here waiting for an order, y'all. But I just remembered that I actually had scheduled the shift that started at 4 a.m. and didn't end until 12 a.m. the next day. So, oh Lord. Um, now that I'm thinking that might not be a realistic shift for me to do, but I think that I am going to stay out here until 3.30 a.m because um even i could pro i don't know i might be able to scale it down like i might be able to start around nine that way i could get in the house by like four take don't a quick three hour order. nap get up and get dressed so and leave out at nine maybe ten just to give time I, oh. <clears throat> mom can i get some pizza i got a lot going on and um I kind of want to do both. Like, if I didn't have the kids with me, I would just stay out here and work all the way up again until midnight. I'd probably be good a little drowsy, but I know myself. I could, I could pull that off as long as I'm still moving and the orders is coming in. I would, I would definitely stay out here and pull that off. 
so um, but I you know with them it's a little bit different but yeah I'm so happy to have my car back being on the road being in motion you know this is it this is the life that I'm used to all right so they just sent me this order that's two and a half miles away for two dollars and 75 cents it's a ridiculous amount normally when i see anything under five or six dollars i immediately decline however um since i'm just sitting here doing nothing and it is like almost 1 a.m i'm gonna just go and do it so i could keep moving when i'm out late trying to do stuff it's just best to stay active so um yeah i'm about to go and do that one now Okay, so it is now 1 10 a.m. Can y'all please stop? It's 1 10 a.m. As you can see, my kids are still wide awoke. They did take a slight short nap earlier today, maybe like an hour and a half back there. But we probably been out here since. I don't even know, and I don't even care for real. <laughs> Um, I know I got the truck back around like 5.30. I took it to go clean it, and I started working. So, I don't know. Maybe we started around 7. I'm not sure. But get up and fussing. So, I'm kind of bored at this point. Like I said, it's 1, 10 a.m. Um, I just finished one order that I just dropped off, and I came down here. I just got this good order, though. It was like $22.50, but it was 27 miles away. And I'm kind of limited on gas right now, so I don't think it would be smart to go that um, far. Because uh, by the time I go there and come back, I'm going to be empty. And like around here, gas stations be closed. They be closed sometimes. Like they'll close at like 10, 11 o'clock. I hate that. Like you're supposed to be able to go to a gas station anytime because you're on the road anytime. But that's just how it is. So I don't even want to try it because i could just maybe cash out or end my shift and then come back on or something but i'm not doing all of that so i'd rather just stay local and that's what i'm going to do all right so it's 2a 2a <laughs> 201 a.m and i still haven't gotten any orders over the last 45 minutes so i think i'm gonna just go home i would have Love to complete the shift and stay out here till 3.30, but it's no point in sitting out here if I'm not doing anything. So, um, I'm going to just go in and start first tomorrow. So, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, you all. And um, I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure that you do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the join button. This month we need 1,000 members. It's going to be exciting in our little community. And um, check the description box because there's always something there for your benefit, including my wonderful, wonderful boutique where you can get lovely cohort sets and all the long sleeve items are marked down. You have to put the item in your cart to be able to see the price. And be sure to check that out. I will see y'all in my next video. And thank y'all so much for watching. And I hope that whatever you lost in your life was only temporary. Just like the loss was only temporary for me. I pray that you will regain whatever you lose. And that it will be better than it was before. I also pray that your life will elevate. You will find everything that your heart is desiring for. And... That you will find growth and success through Christ.